Oh, the just come by stamps and save another mail day. This is a lot of Orange Free State stamps that I picked up to large in my Orange Free State stamp collection. It's only about $3 for all the stamps, but it did come in a big package here, as you can see. So we're going to take a look at it. I flipped it over and there was a Zambia stamp on there, so it may have included some extra stamps. We will see here. Let's take a look at it. This okay, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> they come with a good amount of extra stamps. Let's see. Try to take this out. Do not recommend using this amount of tape to ship stuff. I don't think anyone really likes that. Uh, so yeah, it looks like he did include some extras, you can see here. A bunch of extras included things, so. Yeah, very nice of him to do that. Um... I only got Orange Free State stamps, so if you see any stamps here from Southern Rhodesia or Rhodesia, etc., those are throw-ins. So yeah, we have some Southern Rhodesia stamps. Unfortunately, I do have all these stamps, however, that block is going to be nice. But I think we do have some better conditions, so I can replace some stamps that may be in bad condition in my album. So we'll definitely add those. Definitely thankful for duplicates. I'm not complaining at all. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to take these out right now. I think I'm going to be doing that... Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the album, but I'm just going to give you guys a little tour while they're in this album page. So a bunch of different constellations here on this blue um, twee pence, and then we have an end penny. So those are two different ones. I have some VRI overprints here. Um, that's a connection. These are very, very nice to look at. I am trying, this is, again, not to add um, new stamps to my Orange Free State stamp collection, but to rather add some bulk to it, you know, add some more cancellation examples, um, add some more different kind of prints because this VRI overprint here, it can be in many different ways. Like the, there could be no dot here, dot could be on the line, the dot could be off the line. You know, it can definitely uh, be printed in many different ways and some people collect that. Um, we do have a lot of nice cancellations down here. So I will add these to my album and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so first we're starting out, I'm gonna show you guys the um, extra additions. It was very, very nice of him to include those extra throw-ins. Um, definitely some stamps actually that I did not have and some um, nice blocks of stamps here that I'll show you guys. So first, I was able, able to improve, improve the condition they had on the Cecil Road stamp and these two stamps right here. Um, the ones that he threw in were in better condition than the ones I already had in, so I threw those in and replaced them. And these two stamps are new as well. These are not in categorical order. I just had two free spots right there, so I threw them in. It's very nice to have that addition. Uh, so I think of these two stamps right here, they're in better condition of the ones he sent, so I replaced them. And then I just decided to throw in two blocks down here. Uh, I think that's pretty pretty cool. So I have some open space for Southern Rhodesia. So very thankful for that. And then for Rhodesia and Yasaland. I did not have that stamp, so that was very nice to have the condition on this one and then add a few stamps up top here for Rhodesia and Nyasa land and yeah now let's get on get on to the orange free state all right so open up a new page in this kind of random album that I have I'm just gonna be placing them in here for now there's not enough room in the South Africa album to place these stamps in um I really only need one example of each stamp for the South Africa album so I'll put it in here for now I'm probably gonna expand this over time and have an own album for this but as of now, it's just a page. So as you can see here, we start off with the Tui Pence from Rania Free State. Um, that's a mixture of Afrikaans and English right there. But um, there's some cool cancellations here, as you can see. The one red one, which have a variety of stuff. We have a bunch of VRI 1D overprints. And as I was saying here, um, each and every one of these is a little bit different unless they're block. As you can see, this is lighter, it's also lower, this is higher, this is darker, the 1D is a little bit above, this one's below, and that pretty much varies for every single one. And I don't know if people collect every single variant, I mean, maybe that's something they could do. I know people collect cancellations, and that's something I know I want to learn more about, and probably collect for Transvaal and Orange Free State, because they have some interesting cancellations, but on here, 3D. Or I just actually want to show you this one real quick. This one's crazy. I mean, it's way below her. 
not that crazy, but it's over to the side. Yeah, it's not that crazy at all, but I'm <laughs> just giving you an example of the different places it could go. Um, well, this one doesn't even have a VRI overprint, so either it's missing one or I need to put that in a different place. I, didn't, I just realized that. Um, as you can see here, 3D, and they have VRI overprints. These look almost the same. Let's see if we can, except for the 4Ds in different places. But yeah, anyways, that is the Orange Free State uh, lot. They got all this about $3, but I think it was worth it because a lot of really cool cancellations, and uh, this is a, one of my favorite stamps from South Africa. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to stay tuned.